Hey guys, it's Katie here with Life in Mundane and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a big book unboxing. There are a lot of fun books here. I believe I have some Thanksgiving books. I have just some fun homeschooling books in general. And honestly, I have some books that I can't remember exactly what I ordered. This is the fun part for me is that I order so many of these orders that I, I lose track. So I'm excited to dive in and let's get started. My name is Katie and welcome to Life in the Mundane. I am a second generation homeschool mom of six beautiful kiddos and on this channel we talk all things resources. I love to share with you resources that are going to help you in your homeschooling and help encourage you in your biblical parenting and how you can utilize those to their fullest potential so that you can make the most of the little moments. All right, so I have a couple of packages from Thrift Books. I have a box from New Earth Press, and I have a box from Book Outlet. So we're gonna start with Thrift Books because it's on the top. First things first, this is Hopscotch, Hangman, Hot Potato, and Ha Ha Ha. This book was actually recommended by one of you guys, one of my lovely viewers. I was having an interview with Wendy over at Plan Prep Pray. You guys can check out that live up in the iCards and down in the description below. And we were talking about recess and different things you could do and just how I wish there was just sort of a comprehensive list of just those fun recess games that we used to play as kids that I could teach my kids. Because yeah, recess doesn't need to be a super structured thing. My kids love just playing outside, riding their bikes, taking a walk but I want them to learn some of those fun games and they recommended this book it has all sorts of games for kids it looks like it's divided into sections like this one is indoor games for sunny days and rainy days games to play on the grass and in playgrounds games to play on the pavement steps and stoops section four is games to play in the water and section five is party games for any occasion so the way that they're written out you'll see here they've got the actual name of the game where to play it the number of people that can play it the equipment you'll need the object of the game and then the rules of the game so thank you guys so much I'm really excited to dive into this I also think it would be a great addition to co-op classes um, right now we don't have the space in our co-op to do a lot of outdoor games but the fact that they have so many indoor games might be a fun addition to our co-op class the next book I have here is the after Christmas tree so this just looked like a fun story I needed a little bit more in order to get free shipping which by the way I do have coupon codes down below you guys can use for these companies to help you get a little discount on your order but this was a fun addition I just kind of threw it in there but as I'm looking through it it really looks like a fun story and I'm really glad I got it so it starts out with this child talking about how fun the Christmas season was how they had the Christmas pageants and the Christmas carols how they picked out the perfect tree and then Christmas is over and they're having to start to pack away their decorations but the fun doesn't have to be over. Instead, they decide to get together a whole bunch of friends to go through the woods to gather pine cones and berries. They start lacing popcorn and they decide they're going to decorate their old tree and leave it outside for the birds to enjoy that special treat. So it's all about that after Christmas tree and I just thought that was a sweet story. The next book up is Vocabulary Cartoons. This is a second book or another book I should say in the series that I've already shown you guys. I've been using Vocabulary Cartoons with my son. Essentially, they use mnemonic devices and pictures to help your child memorize large words and their definitions by using these fun things. So here you learn about disperse and you link it to the word purse. And here it's disperse is to scatter in various directions, distribute widely. When the thug grabbed Dee's purse, all its contents were dispersed. So it uses these little rhymes and it is amazing how well this clicks and how well your children will memorize these words. This one is specifically designed for words that might be on the SAT. So it's a great prep. We're not gonna be using it yet, but I really wanted to go ahead and grab a copy um, because I have a few thoughts of how I might wanna use this now. Um, but even if we don't use it now, as soon as we're done with the red book, we will start this one. Next up, the Tower. So this is a book, if you guys are not familiar with it, um, I actually came across it when I was teaching a manners course in our homeschool co-op. I was trying to teach about being humble and was looking up picture books that might be on that topic that I could share with the kids. And I found this book read on YouTube. I recommend you guys go out and at least listen to the book if you haven't already read it. I don't want to ruin the whole thing for you, but I do want to say it is a beautiful story of humbleness and what true humbleness is. Um, 
and it was such a good book I had to have my own copy because I really want to be able to read it with my kids over and over again it has absolutely beautiful pictures and great discussion points to help you truly understand what humbleness means and what it doesn't mean all right next up is our box from new growth press there are a whole bunch of fun goodies in here Okay, this one is The Light Before Christmas. This is a new Advent study put out by Marty Mikowski. He is the one that does theology and many of these other books that I have shown you guys before. Um, and I'm kind of excited about this one. That, so the whole idea is it is a Advent devotional. So it's designed to do um, for four weeks, the four weeks leading up to Christmas. And then there's a special devotional that you'll read on Christmas Day. What I love about this is the entire devotional centers around the concept of light and what the Bible has to say about the light. Each week is divided into three sections so you can have either three separate times throughout the week that you do this with your kids or if you wanted to you could probably do it all just on a Sunday if you want to have a little bit longer Sunday devotional but it is designed to be done in three separate sections. Um, it starts out with a little story and this is continued from what I can tell throughout the book so that's kind of fun and then you're divided into week one, day one, week one, day two, so on and so forth. They have a few supplies for a warm-up activity. This, from what I just kind of flipped through, it appears like this might be some kind of visual to help them understand and remember the lesson. You're going to read the word together. You're going to read some scripture. You're going to think about it. They give you kind of something else to attach it to. And then they have discussion questions here. Then each week you will have a different hymn. So by the time you've completed this thing, you will go through four different hymns. And not only will you sing through those, but they even have little notes about making notes of certain lines in there that are reinforcing the lesson that you guys are learning about and then they have a time for prayer so I just thought this looked like a very doable lesson I really love the focus on light and I can't wait to dive into it this holiday season next up is another new book by new growth press and it's why do we say thank you this book is all about a little boy who is less than thankful he is actually incredibly whiny and he can find nothing but things to complain about but after a whole day of seeing only the bad in things and seeing all the things that he didn't like he actually falls asleep and starts to see the world through different eyes as he's dreaming he starts dreaming of all the things he saw that day but he starts seeing them as blessings from god he starts saying oh wow look thought the boy all creation amazes every one of these beasts is a cause to sing praises and looking at each one of these and it has little fun facts about woodpeckers and cobras and lions he starts to see new things about his friends and the food he eats and when he wakes up the next morning he has an entirely different perspective on the world none of his circumstances changed just his attitude and as always with new growth press books they have these great discussion guides in the back with further scriptures further questions further ways that you can continue this conversation with your kiddos and i'm excited to have this book for thanksgiving but i'm also just excited to have this book in general it's not particularly thanksgiving themed other than being about thankfulness but i'm excited about this because this is something we want to cultivate in our kids all year long ah! I'm so excited about this. So you guys know I love the Good News for Little Hearts series from New Growth Press. They have all different books. I actually have two different new ones here that I wanted to show you guys. This one is Zoe's Time to Shine When You Want to Hide. And this one, again, like all of them, they go through these amazing stories. They're very well written. They are longer picture books, but they get into a lot of detail in talking about kids' struggles. And what I love about this is that every time there is a kid struggling in one of these books, they always find an adult who can give them wisdom um, from the Bible, but also can relate to their struggle, right? So it might not look exactly the same, or maybe it's not always an adult. Sometimes it's just an older kid, but still they always find somebody older who has gone through similar things. And I just think this is a great way to show our kids that we are sinners in need of God's grace just as much as they are. And through this, it gets to talking to your kids about getting to the heart. They have these perforated verse cards in the back that will help your kids memorize scriptures that have to go with these things. And again, they have that whole conversation panel in the back that will help you guys further that discussion. This one I am really, really excited about. It's Henry's Big Mistakes When You Feel Guilty. And this is talking about needing to ask forgiveness 
And when we feel guilt, it says people who conceal their sins will not prosper. But if they confess and turn from them, they will receive mercy is the reminder that the child is given. And so through these fun stories, they're going to learn the beauty of forgiveness. They're going to learn the importance of confessing their sins and what that guilt is actually for, right? It's not something that we're meant to just sit in. It's actually supposed to be a call to action to confess our sins and turn away from them. And Christ is faithful to forgive. And again, we've got the discussion guide in the back. So can't wait to dive into both of these new books. Here is another new one. This is also a series that we have really enjoyed. This is God Wins. We also have the book God Rescues. And we have a couple of the other ones. I just can't remember the titles off the top of my head. But what these are are little mini stories on a central theme. So here, God Wins, God's Victory. So we've got the wall falls down to so the wall of Jericho. So it has here at the top the scripture passages that it's taking the story from. It has the actual story of Jericho, right? And then we go into David fights Goliath. So thought bubbles here on the side are discussion questions so that you can kind of relate the story to your child. Here is three friends won't bow. So talking about Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and how God proved faithful there as well. Here is Queen Esther speaks up. So there's quite a wide range of stories here for you and your kids to explore. You could definitely sit down and read all of this in one setting, but you can also go through and just touch on the individual stories. What we like to do is we like to sit down, read the whole thing when we first get it, and then we will go through and slowly, like each day, we'll just read one of the stories and and read the scripture passages and you know compare them and talk about them and it's just a really fun way to connect with your kids and connecting with God's Word and looking at these central themes that are very similar in these stories all right last but not least it is time to jump into our book outlet box book outlet is a company where you can get brand new books at bargain prices and you guys know I am completely addicted so first up we have the Wizard of Oz we live in Kansas if you guys don't know so anything Wizard of Oz is really fun all right so this book is called Squanto's Journey, the story of the first Thanksgiving. This book was actually recommended to me by uh, Amy over at Humility and Doxology. She has a fantastic blog. She has a YouTube channel. She has a podcast. She has Instagram, all the things. I will link it down below for you guys where you can go check her out. And she has a great Thanksgiving pack morning time memory things that you can work on, um, poetry, Bible verses, songs, but she also had a great book list and this was one of the books that she recommended. Also another book that she recommended was Thank You Sarah, The Woman Who Saved Thanksgiving. On the back it says a memorable, often hilarious glimpse into the historical development of this country's common culture. It looks like an absolutely hilarious book. I honestly have not read it, so I'm not really sure what all it entails, but I can tell you right off the bat, just from looking at the pictures, that my kids are going to enjoy it. It also looks like it has some great facts in the back. It says a feast of facts, talking about tradition preserved, good stock, extra helping, football and parades, how did we get that? And talking about so many facts, more than I can share with you guys all here, so I can't wait to dive into it. This is another one of my favorite series. It is Let's Read and Find Out Science Series, and these are leveled. So there are books that are ones, twos, threes, fours even maybe, I think. And basically they're beginning science books or the number one is a beginning science book. So they have very short, easy to understand pages, but this one is talking about where do chicks come from. They've got great pictures, great facts, great discussion. And at the back of almost all of them is some kind of activity. Yep, here we go. This one says find out more about eggs and chicks and it's giving you some activities and some science experiments you can do with your kiddos to learn more about eggs and chicks. And so I'm always down to grab new ones when Book Outlet puts on new books. Okay. I love this song. Like with everything in me, I love a song and it's I want a hippopotamus for Christmas. So when I saw there was a book of the song, I had to grab it. It is the lyrics. This book just looks like it's the lyrics to the song, but how fun to have that visual because if you have not heard I want a hippopotamus for Christmas, you need to. And seeing visuals to all of the lyrics is going to be such a fun way to um, to read this this Christmas season. All right, our last and final book. This one also looked really great. It's called Shooting at the Stars, The Christmas Truce of 1914. So many of you may know the famous true story of World War One and how the two sides on Christmas came out of their trenches and decided to call a truce for the day. They celebrated together. They sang carols together. They gave gifts to each other. And it was just this really, really sweet time in the middle of a war. And they called a complete truce. 
I just thought this was a great conversation piece with my kids. It's a part of history that I want them to understand and getting to have it in picture book format where they can kind of see as well as the amazing author notes in the back with actual pictures of this event will be such a great addition to our history and to our Christmas unit study. I hope you guys have enjoyed this book unboxing. Please be sure to go check out that live, that interview I did with Wendy over at Plan Prep Pray to learn more about the books we were talking about, to learn more about the resources we were talking about, and to see the amazing commenter who suggested that book for us. I hope you guys will enjoy it and we'll talk to you guys soon. Bye!